Thank you. I'm Stella Hodgkins, and I have the honor of serving as Senior Vice President of Opportunity and Outreach at El Pomar Foundation. The foundation is a proud, multiple-year funder of Global Minded and the initiatives of such incredibly inspiring and inclusive leaders. As uh, Carol noted earlier, the foundation, 85 years ago, the founders of the foundation, Julie and Spencer Penrose, shared many of the same values of Global Minded, as well as our honoree tonight. I'm humbled to introduce Nasruddin Rupani as the recipient of the 2023 Inclusive Leader Award for Foundations and Funders. A wildly successful entrepreneur and compassionate philanthropist, Mr. Rupani's journey began in Karachi, Pakistan, and led him through the halls of engineering at NYU and on to Texas, where he established and grew several successful business ventures. Driven by a deep sense of social responsibility, Mr. Rupani established the Ibn Sina Foundation, which has extended affordable medical care to Houston's uninsured and low-income population. In addition, his namesake, Rupani Foundation, reaches populations in the US and, and in Central and South Asia with diverse programs focusing on early childhood development and livelihood diversification. Through his vi visionary leadership, Nasruddin Rupani has transformed the lives of countless individuals, leaving a lasting legacy of compassion, empowerment, and sustainable development. Please join me in welcoming Nasruddin Rupani to receive this well-deserved reward. Thank you for the kind introduction. Bismillah rahman rahim First of all, I really want to dedicate this award to my Rupani Foundation team and to my family. Dear team of Rupani Foundation, I would not achieve this without you. For thank you for all your support and commitment and dedication to serve humanity. Thank you again for recognizing my services. It is a great honor to be here with you all and all the honorees. I really appreciate the theme, we the solution. We are the one who can make the change and we can do it. And that's what I believe in and that's what I'm trying to achieve and committed. I was born in Pakistan. I arrived about 40 years ago, started my journey in New York with $3 an hour in a railway station. Today, after 40 years, I'm blessed that I am able to give back of what I've made and this country has given me. Thank you, America. I'm a Smiley Muslim and I follow a Smiley religion. My Imam, His Highness Yaga Khan, is the religious guide and my inspiration. Whatever I am today is because his commitment to the community. So he is my inspiration and I try to follow his guidance. I have taken two principles from his guidance. Keep what you need, share in excess. The second guidance that I always admire, whatever is given to us by God, we are only custodian of it. It is not ours. So I'm blessed that I have founded two foundations. One foundation is called Ibn Sina Foundation. Currently, Ibn Sina Foundation is providing a holistic health care. Holistic health care is very, very important for every citizen. My second foundation is 
Rupani Foundation. Rupani Foundation provides holistic human development. As we all know, holistic health cannot be achieved without the mental health. And most importantly, without maternal mental health. So I'm very much advocate of mother's maternal mental health. I believe that holistic human development cannot be achieved without starting early. My foundation believes in that we need to start early. It means very early. I believe that we need to start be before even conceiving. Because if mother's womb is the first school of a child, then the mother needs to be a teacher before conceiving the child. Our children deserve it. They deserve better education and early head start. Today in Houston, we have head start and early head start, but only access is to 3%. 97% of the children are just waiting in line. So we need to provide early childhood education to every American child. <laughs> Most importantly, it is very critical that we must provide access to every mother to maternal mental health. Today, our mothers are suffering. 80% of the mothers are working. And if we do not provide support to our mothers and maternal mental health, we will not be able to bring in healthy, productive citizens in this country. Thank you, Global Minded. Carol, thank you very much for leading this. You have my commitment. I will do whatever is possible to support you. I have my commitment, and anything I can do, please let me know. But thank you for everything.